Hi everyone, today we are making Algerian Qalbalouz. In a large dish, put 4 cups coarse semolina, 2 cups granulated sugar, mix them well, then add 1 cup melted butter. I am using half cup as a measuring cup in this recipe. Make sure to rub the semolina mixture between your hands until everything is incorporated. Since I used half cup as a measuring cup with the first ingredients, I'm gonna use half of it, which is quarter cup. Pour water, then add rose water. Sprinkle the semolina mixture with water and rose water. Mix with fingers only. Place the semolina mixture in a smaller bowl, cover with plastic wrap and refrigerate, preferably overnight. On the second day, prepare the syrup. Set aside and let cool. Now prepare the almond filling. In a bowl, mix the ground almonds, sugar, cocoa powder, add rose water. Mix well until the mixture gets together. Then set aside. Now get back to the semolina mixture. Dump it in a large dish, try to separate the grains, then add a quarter cup of water and rose water. Sprinkle the semolina mixture with water and rose water, mix with your fingers only. Grease the baking pan with melted butter, then put half of the semolina mixture on the baking pan, make sure to spread it evenly. Put the almond filling on top, try to spread it evenly, then top it with the other part of semolina mixture. Spread it evenly with your hand. Then use a knife to trace the qalbalouz into squares without cutting it all the way through. Place a whole almond in the center of each square. Generously brush the qalbalouz with melted butter and bake at 350 preheated oven for about 45 to 1 hour or until golden. Immediately pour the cold syrup on top. Cover with aluminum paper and let it cool, preferably overnight in the fridge. On the third day, cut the qalb loose and enjoy it. Make sure to use a large spatula to remove the qalb loose from the pan as it is very soft. If you enjoy this video, please give me a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel, comment down below and hit the notification bell to not miss anything. Thanks for watching.